Hey there guys, welcome back to Cop Talks in another video. So a while back, my good friend Mad Dog 346 another taster in the MRE community, sent me a kind of box with all kinds of stuff in it. And a few of those things came from a British ration, right? So I figured I'd go ahead and have those for breakfast today. So what we have here is chicken, sausage, and beans. <laughs> Sounds pretty interesting. It says chicken sausages and haricot beans in tomato sauce. Uh, pff, sounds pretty interesting. Honestly, doesn't sound too bad. I'm assuming this can be eaten warm or cold. I'm going to be heating it up just to give it a try. Then here we also have Thai style chicken soup. That really sounds interesting. A mildly spiced soup with coconut, chicken, and brown rice, it says. 300 grams. Looks like a, most of the ingredients are chicken, tomato, shallots, which I love shallots. There's all kinds of stuff in there. So that's going to be really, really interesting. And then, in the world's loudest crinkly bag, we have tropical fruit and nut mix. It's got... Peanuts, raisins, banana chips, which I love, love dried banana chips, pineapple, and uh, papaya, and some other stuff in here. So, we'll go ahead and give that a shot as well. I feel like it's a pretty interesting, well-balanced breakfast, don't you think? So, let's go ahead and get these warmed up and in a bowl and on a plate and give it a shot, shall we? All right, and we're back. As you can see, we have some Topo Chico sparkling water. We have our chicken sausage and beans and our Thai style soup so I guess since I dropped the spoon in this one we'll go ahead and try this one first I think we'll save that fruit for dessert shall we it smells I don't know there's not much of a smell to it honestly the sausage has a very soft consistency very soft which I mean it's a long-term storage sausage soaking in sauce for its entire time in storage so you know to be expected hmm let's try some of the beans here it kind of reminds me of like bush's baked beans right like a like a sweeter style bean and sauce overall really not bad the colors of both of these is like very interesting oh look, there's a good chunk of chicken in there Mmm, smells good. Oh, there's a lot of whoa, there's a lot of flavors going on. Wow. A lot of flavors going on there. You know, for, for bean and sauce, the chicken almost has like a dried out consistency. Very interesting. There's a little bit of spice to it, but nothing extreme at all. Just a, a nice, pleasant tingle. Tingle. Really, if that's the way I could, if that's the way I could describe food, is a nice, nice, pleasant tingle. Tingle. I know exactly what this needs. I know, I know exactly what this needs. I will be right back. I got it. Ugh. Okay. All right. So this is the sauce, the uh, General's hot sauce, that, oh, ugh, all right, Eeyore sent me. And I'm going to drop a few, well, drops in this chicken sausage and beans. All right. Let's see what happens. Hmm, did I miss? Did I? I miss? Oh, there we go. Ooh, yeah. Woo! Oh, ooh. Mmm. Oh, whew. That's hot. Let's get some hot. Let's get some hot. Well, let's get some soup. It's hot. That was a good one. 
It's good, but <laughs> caught me off guard a touch. Hmm. Look at that sausage. Look at that. Now, I was expecting the sausage to be a lot saltier. It's missing. It's missing salt. Which is weird for an MRE to me. Like, it's just missing some saltiness to it. Now, the rest of this Thai soup. It's a very interesting take on like chicken and rice. Oops. Let's open this up and give it a sniff, shall we? Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna be good. Look at that. Oh, look at that big old piece of banana right there. Ooh, I'm excited for dessert. You can really taste the coconut. It's very pleasant. And you got some red chili and stuff in there. The rice... I feel like they do this on purpose. I feel like the rice is undercooked. That's probably to make sure it's not just complete mush whenever you do decide to eat it. And it doesn't seem that it's as filling as an entree should be. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like soup is... Like stew, on the other hand, is very filling, but soup is oftentimes kind of lacking, in my opinion, you know. This is why I love curry so much, right? Like tikka masala spe uh, specifically as well. It's the combination of smooth, creamy, salty, slightly acidic because of like tomato and everything, and then a little bit of spice. Mmm. Oh, uh, what a fantastic com you know, like combo. Ah. Not something you want to throw up though. <laughs> Still not as good as the Japanese one I had. The Japanese one was just bare, like exploding in flavor. Nice! All right, let's get some of this banana, huh? Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. See if it's got a nice crunch to it. Hmm. It's a slice of, looks like coconut. Mm-hmm, that's what it is. Mmm, the coconut's good. I think this is Papaya? Hmm. Interesting. It almost seems less sweet than the, like the American version. Which I'm not surprised. The American stuff is always like crazy sweet. It's like either not sweet at all or insanely sweet. There is no in between. Okay. Mm. Oh, I'm taking this to work with me. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. I love the MRE snacks. I don't know why. Just a huge, huge fan. Well, guys, as you can see, uh, I think I enjoyed this one. <laughs> it's actually really, really good. Really, like, a big contrast. You have, like, an Asian one, and then you have a more, like, traditional kind of sausage and beans. And the flavor profiles between the two was a huge difference. Now, the the chicken and beans, it had a very good aroma, right? It smelled really good, but I felt like you smelled it more than you tasted it, right? Whereas with the Thai, the Thai chicken soup and everything... You smelled it and tasted it. I would definitely recommend that one over the chicken and beans. But they were both pretty good. But if I had to pick one, tingle. Chicken and rice. So anyway, guys, really appreciate you joining me today. 
MadDog346, thank you so much for sending me these. He's really unique. I'm not sure I would have been able to get a hold of them otherwise. All right, Eeyore, thank you for the uh, sauce that continues to put me in pain, but is also delicious at the same time. Thank you for that. <laughs> also, it's just a really cool little bottle. Look at it. It's Hold on, let me get it closed here so I don't make a mess. But it's called the General's Hot Sauce. Shock and awe. And it's in the form of a grenade. Super, super cool. Those guys are really awesome. I'm going to leave a link to their channels down below. Please go check them out and support them. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. Uh, I appreciate you spending a little bit of time with me today. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And um, definitely boosts my crippled ego and shattered dreams. And anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe out there, and I will catch you in the next one. Tingle.